Should we get more biopics and other movies based on true stories from documentary filmmakers? Based on this film, I'd argue yes. Lost Girl stars Amy Ryan as Mary Gilbert, whose daughter goes missing and is met with an almost nonchalant attitude by the police. She continuously hounds them and persists they do what they can to find her daughter, and this results in a much larger investigation uncovering an even bigger series of crimes. This movie was based on a real-life disappearance and a book of the same name recounting the events. Now, I always enjoy watching true crime features. I also listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. But I have become hesitant in recent years when it comes to narratives portraying true crime stories as opposed to documentaries. These are mostly a dramatization of events, and because of that, they don't really focus so much on character. Not that they're totally one-dimensional, but what we're mainly getting is just a dramatic portrayal of something awful and traumatizing. So even when the movie's good, there's this uncomfortable, exploitative feel about it, even if the story's told well or if the acting's great. A good example being Hotel Mumbai from last year. It was a good movie, it was just really brutal to watch. Though what interested me about this movie was the fact that the director, Liz Garbus, did nothing before this but direct documentaries. And she's received constant praise for her work, such as The Farm, Angola, USA, and What Happened, Miss Simone. And she ended up being a great choice to direct this because what we got was a true crime story that had both the nuance and journalistic integrity of a well-made documentary. So let's discuss. <laughs> One of the driving forces behind this movie is without a doubt Amy Ryan. I gotta say, I always found her to be an underrated actress, and I'm really glad she got a starring role here. She is absolutely commanding. She's in all but a few scenes, but she just takes charge of each and every time she's on screen. She's very aggressive and very assertive with just about everyone whom she crosses paths with. But you also sense the pain of a mother who's just doing whatever she can to find her daughter. Her delivery is very passionate and you get a clear sense of both her anger and her pain every time she speaks. She's willing to take matters into her own hands if that's what it takes to find her daughter. And she will call out whoever she feels isn't doing enough to help. She's constantly at odds with the detectives on the case, here led by Gabriel Byrne. She's constantly snapping back at them, she's always down at the police department, she's always following up with them. Whenever she'd call them out for their nonchalant attitude or demands more urgency or compassion from them, those were some of my favorite scenes in the movie. Which leads to why I enjoyed this movie so much. As we uncover the circumstances behind the disappearance and who the daughter was associated with, we see why the investigation, wrongly, isn't taken so seriously at first and why it upsets Amy Ryan. And it leads to this much larger issue that I'm sure many who ask for help and don't get it or experience some sort of injustice will be able to relate to. If you're someone in need of help, but because of your background or any other circumstances in your life, you're not given the same due diligence as others whose society feels should deserve help, even if it's totally unfair. There's a moment where Amy Ryan is in this suburban neighborhood making a big scene, and the cops are called by one of these women in the neighborhood, and Gabriel Byrne shows up almost within minutes. And Amy Ryan makes this big argument saying, when you were called to investigate my daughter's disappearance in the middle of the night, it took you almost an hour to respond. But this one woman files a complaint and you show up within minutes, and how is that right? And that's a big recurring theme throughout this movie. She repeatedly calls them out for this. For their attitude, for the language used in the investigation, for how the story's framed, and this happens all the time in real life. There are serious issues not treated with the urgency that they need, mainly if it's for someone's background or who they associate themselves with. So not only is Amy Ryan asking for her daughter to be found, but also for fairness in this investigation. And neither issue overshadows one another. There's a lot of nuance in the way this is handled. The message is very loud and clear, but the social commentary doesn't come across as preachy. And this is thanks to some really great direction. Liz Garbus does a wonderful job behind the camera. She kept captures the tension between Amy Ryan and the police department perfectly, and she gives it this personal feel showing this family affected by this loss, how they deal with it, how they cope through it, and how they fight through it. But despite the heavy subject matter, it's not a total downer of a movie. I mean, it's not sunshine and rainbows, but there's this sense of strength and almost hope through Amy Ryan's determination that at the very least the right thing will be done handling this investigation. She's constantly fighting and she doesn't back down, and the main emotion felt through the direction and through Amy Ryan's performance performance isn't this feeling of being bummed out or depressed, but it's the feeling of hope that this poor mother will find her daughter and that there's some sort of justice. You're always rooting for her. With Amy Ryan front and center here, her character is pretty much the only one who really feels fleshed out. Now don't get me wrong, the performances from everyone else were great. 
but their main purpose is to serve more of this reactionary role, either to Amy Ryan herself or to any of the information uncovered. Thomas and Mackenzie and Una Lawrence play Amy Ryan's other two daughters, and they were both great. Mackenzie easily gives the second best performance in this film. She has some heartfelt moments with Amy Ryan that I loved, but they're both mostly there just because Amy Ryan has to take them around wherever she goes. And you'll see them get upset, and it's well acted, but there's really only so much you learn about them. And the detective's primary role here is simply just to get into arguments with Amy Ryan, or every so often just there to try calming her down. There are a couple of scenes of them just on their own, but it's mainly just them asking suspects questions. The story progresses with these scenes, but there's nothing profound character-wise that really comes out of it. They don't really have any arcs of their own. And I get it, these sort of scenes come with a movie like this. You want to stick to the main story and the main theme so it doesn't totally derail. So, I get that. I can't even say I disliked any of the characters or any of the scenes outside of one or two in the middle that maybe just could have been paced better. They're all fairly likable characters, it's just more so due to the performances than the writing itself. So far, this is one of Netflix's better movies this year. It's got a lot of great performances, especially Amy Ryan in one of her best roles. But what makes this resonate so well are its themes. The way certain issues can be treated with a lack of urgency or importance, and even scorn or indifference, is something that's constantly being dealt with to this day, and that's something that needs to be improved upon. And the case for that is made very clear here. It's a great message, well acted, really tense, and a gripping story. Definitely worth watching. Lost Girls gets an 8 out of 10. Let me know, did you see Lost Girls or are you planning to see it and what were your thoughts? Did you enjoy the performances? Did the themes resonate with you? And what's one of your favorite true crime movies to watch? Let me know in the comments below and as always if you like what you see please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.